In this box, I have a pre-built PC unlike anything you've ever seen before. This is the Talon by Falcon Northwest, and they sent it over for us to check out. Especially with the launch of Intel's 14th gen processors, they've updated it to have some of the fastest components known to man. But also, this thing has been in production for over 20 years. That's basically the entire time that my employees have been alive. And just about the time that I probably got into computers. Yeah, that would I would have just been in high school 20 years ago. Goodness. And Falcon Northwest themselves have been in business for over 30 years. And this is double packaged, which you love to see when buying a pre-built. You can see that it's actually packaged with love and care. But Falcon Northwest sent this town to me in order to review it. So they want you to know no money's been exchanging hands. They did sponsor our Cannonball for the Cure charity stream. They provided a PC for giveaway as well as donated money to Syngap Research Fund. But today's video isn't sponsored by Falcon Northwest. It actually does have a sponsor and that's APNX. We'll get to them in a second. So we can even see from the very beginning at the top, they show you all of the instructions for how you get your talon going, making sure that you uh, know how to clean it, take care of it, what parts come open, what parts don't. Oh, wow. So power cable stuck to the side to make sure that we can actually turn this thing on. And Kyler, you want to read what this says? The <laughs> two bread from Reese. Reese is back in South Africa, so I don't exactly know what's going on here, but that looks like Christmas wrapping. And this feels, that's glass. I'm gonna put this to the side, we'll unbox that last. But what you can see here are some of the things that make the Talon special. This little section right here, it's for carpet. It's to make sure that if you place this PC down on carpet, because Falcon Northwest realizes that not everybody has all of the space that you could possibly need to put a PC on your desk, you are not blocking the airflow to the power supply or any of the intakes that are up front. You still have this separation that allows you to have some breathing unless you have gigantic shag carpet like Kyler does at home. All of the packaging makes it look like it came in one piece, which is great to see from a system integrator who actually produces these PCs on a regular basis. And you can even see that they taped it shut with what appears to be gaff tape or masking tape. I think this is masking tape. But it doesn't leave any residue on the PC at all. So it peels off very easily. No residue on the glass either. And both sides are actually a tempered glass side panel so that you can see the interior of what's going on. So this case right here is custom made by Falcon Northwest themselves. They've designed it, they've engineered it to make it so that when they're shipping out their pre-built systems, it is to the highest quality possible. And this thing is loaded to the gills with the highest end tech out there. You've got an Intel Core i9-14900K, which has their Falcon Northwest custom liquid cooler on here run by 280 millimeters of radiator as well as fans that's supposed to be cooling it. 96 gigabytes of DDR5 6400 megahertz RAM sitting right there, a two terabyte crucial T700 PCI Express 5.0 SSD, an Asus ROG Strix Z790E gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard, and then of course the RTX 4090 Founders Edition. Now I mentioned that today's video is sponsored by APNX because we're gonna be putting this Falcon Northwest Talon up against this system right here, which is the APNX C1 Chroma Flare case. As you can see, as you move around the case, it actually ends up changing color because of its custom paint job. But in this system, we don't have the same amount of RAM. We're not looking at 96 gigabytes, but we have really fast RAM in here combined with the i9-14900K and RTX 4090. And this is going to be a great comparison system for the Falcon Northwest Talon. You can see what you can put together for yourself for a lesser price point. And we're gonna see just how much custom engineering goes into the Falcon Northwest PC. But APNX sponsored this video and they want you to check out their C1 case that they've launched recently. You can check our link in the video description, which has it in multiple colors. You can get it in white, you can get it in black, and you can get it in this chroma flare blue slash purple setup. And the C1 case is designed to perform right out of the box. It has four 30 millimeter APNX FP1 fans that come pre-installed in the case, delivering a boost to thermals without adding the need to buy them separately. And the fan frames are an extra five millimeters thick over standard 25 millimeter thick case fan. 
lens. That extra depth allows for wider fan blades, which in turn pushes air more effectively. And in APNX testing, the performance boost was anywhere between 30 to 50% over the thinner versions. And making sure that it's good for thermals is happening because it has perforated front, side, and top panels for multiple different cooling solutions. You can have dual 360 millimeter radiators on the inside, 11 fan slots, clearance for even the biggest graphics card, which you can see we've put a 4090 in here, and an optional GPU card holder and riser cable. And if you want to go for a clean build, the removable cable management sidebar on the motherboard backplate will help funnel and hide your cables. Or you can use it for putting a little fan behind the motherboard itself to keep the backside of everything that's going on cool, especially with the 14900K, can't hurt. The C1's curved edges, smooth finish, and toolless paneling make for a comfortable building experience regardless of how you want to build in it. We've loaded this thing up with APNX's fans. I think, Kyler, we counted how many fans do we have in this? Like 15 total? It's three, six, nine, 10, 11's on the, the CPU cooler, there's three on the graphics card, that's 14, then there's one on the back, then there's one on the power supply. We're at 16 total fans. If you're looking to build a high-end system in a stunning case, whether it's the Chroma Flare or some of the other colors, APNX has you covered with the C1. You can check out their FP1 fans to add into your system. But big thanks to APNX for sponsoring today's video and providing us with the testing setup that we're going to compare against the Falcon Northwest Talon, which let's talk about this case for a second. You cannot buy this on the open market. This is 20 years of engineering that Falcon Northwest has gone into to make sure that this is delivering the best setup for the customers. And you can hear, this is four millimeter thick aluminum plating, which they have found that doesn't actually detract from thermals in the slightest. You see, it's a toolless setup. You don't have to take out any screws in order to open up the side panels and take them off. It appears to be the same way with both sides. And you can even see down here, they've engineered that there's just a little finger hole for you to put your finger when you're actually trying to pop open the case fan. But based on what I'm gathering, this is likely a side panel, custom designed. Now, the fact that it's from Reese has me worried. If I had to guess, which I'm just gonna use my powers of prognostication right now, this is a yummy, yummy deal master side plate. That's, that is my guesstimation. I can't see it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my God. Mm. So you can see on display right here is Falcon Northwest's custom printing process, which they can put designs on the side panels of your PC. I believe this will go on the back to replace the glass that's over here, which <sighs> we might as well. Oh, ooh, there's foam in here as I'm grasping it. I firmly grasped it and there's foam. Glass is nice, especially in this Falcon Northwest Talon because you can see the cable management, Kyler, you could never. Look at this. I may. <laughs> no, you you definitely could with enough practice, but being able to route the 24 pin custom channel over here to make sure it's not blocking any airflow on the back of the motherboard, but then also this is a custom cable mod extension that they've worked to make. And then just, that is a lot of effort that has gone into a pre-built. I have not seen another pre-built with this much effort put into the cable management. And you see right here, it's got a custom UFD tech emblazoned logo right there to let you know that this is our PC and it was made on November 10th, 2023. It's taken us a little bit to get around to this, especially with the holiday season, but I'm excited to be checking it out finally. And you can see that there's room here. You've got some two and a half inch SSDs. I do know that Falcon Northwest, if you mention this to them that you actually might expand in the future. They'll make sure that you have the SATA cables and the power cables back here so that they're ready to go be slotted in. And I've watched a few other videos where they will actually heat up the SATA data cable to make sure that it twists in at the right angle to make sure that there's no force when it goes in. It just goes straight down, which not every cable allows you to do. And then down here is a little three and a half inch hard drive sled that you can take out in case you want to install hard drives, but we are anti-hard drive gang here on UFD Tech. There's no need. We've got a two terabyte PCI Express 5.0 SSD. What do I need a hard drive for? But let's take off the last little bits of masking tape, which are affixed to the dust filter that's down here for the power supply. 
which is, I believe, magnetic, so that should just stick, but nothing slipped around during shipping, so this is all looking very robust. And that's actually another thing that they do, is they make sure to utilize the bracket that's here on the end of the RTX 4090 Founders Edition, where they have a metal mounting solution. This thing is firmly in there. No, no GPU sack, and like, this ain't wiggling, and I'm working real hard to get it to wiggle. I have scuffed up the top just hitting it. Kyler, do you wanna, you wanna take a little knock? You wanna knock this four millimeter aluminum? That's thick, right? Like that, this is a robust PC case, but then there's a couple of other unique things that I wanna point out before we get to testing the actual performance, thermals and all of that. There's a little GPU fan that they installed right here, fully removable in case we wanted to install something like a capture card, but this provides the airflow to the return on the RTX 4090 right here. So it'll blow air, from the outside into this, and then that'll exhaust out the side. But another thing that's attention to detail from Falcon Northwest, having the ability to design their own case year after year, you can see that some of the return for the RTX 4090 Founders Edition is over here. So instead of blocking it off, like you can find on some cases, you actually still have the ability to fully exhaust the 4090, not just over here where the IO is, but also towards this little extension as well. Also, as I've been looking at this for just a little bit longer, one of the most intriguing things that I've seen is typically when you have a motherboard plate at the back of the case, it's not two separate pieces like this. They, the screws for the middle and bottom are one piece of metal, but then to screw the top of the motherboard is another piece. And then this is just completely open. And so I was, I was looking at the cables. I was like, how do they get such a fine degree of bending and i was like oh because the plate doesn't extend past the motherboard but no there's no plate back here so it can just curve very nicely and they have all of this extra space to work with again which is just another one of those benefits of building your own case year after year and selling them to customers to make sure that they're satisfied with them i'm satisfied with reese i'll tell you that much is this glass or is this metal? Okay, this is glass and it's just, it's covered on the other side, so. And then we just have one last thing to check out before we turn this system on and start benchmarking it to see how it compares to a custom built RTX 4090 PC of equal caliber in the APN XC1 case. And that is this other box that Falcon Northwest sends out to their customers if you happen to buy one of their PCs. And that is, it comes with a whole host of goodies, including a mouse pad from Falcon Northwest, a nice little coffee mug for your brewing choices, for your brew, for your brew, for your, for your brew, for, for your lock up brew. I believe because this is an RTX 40 series, it came with a copy of Alan Wake 2, all of the extra cables that you could want for your Seasonic power supply. They come with their own Falcon Fuel coffee, which just as a little teaser, which we will talk about more in a few months, but we might also be uh, competing with Falcon Northwest in that game. And then an extra little box right here, which has, looks to be all of the motherboard accoutrements, ROG stuff, the Wi-Fi adapter, as well as uh, the four pin to 16 pin that came with the RTX 4090 and a little recovery USB rescue drive. This is glad they don't use CDs anymore, even though some companies still ship out CDs with their products. Thank you, Falcon Northwest, for being modern on that side. Oh, you're not allowed to see this, but this is my Windows 11 activation key. That's mine. You can't activate Windows. No. Oh, there's a little folder down here. It's matte black, so it was very easy to miss spot, but looks to be our desktop system documentation. Customer, UFD Tech, they have their documentation, their QA analysis, just to see exactly is everything working up to spec. Oh, and they even include a little benchmarks of things that we should expect. So benchmarking, we have things like the Time Spy benchmark, the Fire Strike benchmark, PC Mark 10, Cinebench, 10 minute loop, max CPU temp is 100, so expect the 14900K to get up to its thermal limit, which is exactly what 14th gen CPUs do. More QA testing, getting started, keeping your system clean, using the USB rescue drive. And then interesting things about the warranty procedures, which includes the Falcon overnight service. If your Falcon system should develop a serious hardware problem that they can't solve via technical support, they'll pick it up via overnight courier, correct any problem, fully test the system and overnight it back to you. 
The Falcon Overnight service covers any applicable instance within one year of the date of purchase. Why does no other com computer company do this? Frankly, it's much too expensive, but with their extremely low defect rate, they can offer customers this unparalleled level of service. And one of the things that I've seen as I've done more research about Falcon Northwest across the internet is the reason that they have been in business for the 30 plus years that they have is because they actually do treat their customers right. If you build it correctly from the beginning, which it appears like they have definitely put in the effort to do, and then you also make sure that the customers receive a ton of support as they're trying to make sure that their PC is up and running, well then it can actually happen where you are in business for this many years, which you love to see. Just from the unboxing experience, I have literally no notes on how they could potentially do this better. One of the things I am interested in seeing is just how thermally efficient this is. I've read a lot of Falcon Northwest's own details on why they believe that a 280 mil cooler will provide the best airflow because it's not just about adding as many fans as possible into the system. They've designed that the path of the air and the heat at getting out of the PC is as optimal as possible. And it's also like easy to wipe off. I've left a lot of skin marks as I've been attacking the, the top of the PC to test out that metal. Skin marks. I mean, my my skin is skidding the marks on the, the PC and it's it's wiping off very nicely. Ooh, that's got a little bit more clang to it. Kind of like our prototype metal screwdriver from LTTstore.com. Also, I just want to, again, on the no notes thing, the quality of this UV printing is incredible. Look at it. Zoom in on Reese's pores. Like you, the... The, the definition is obviously quite high, but then there's, it's just printed onto this glass so beautifully. Like I can see where Reese actually needs to shave his unibrow. And you can tell this wasn't right after the cannonball because he has his entire beard coming in. Okay, let no talk, testing time. I'm gonna get this on our testing system and we'll test against the APN XC1 with similar specs. So we're gonna put these PCs through the hardest benchmark that I have in my suite, which is Cyberpunk in its ray tracing overdrive setup. That's gonna allow us to stress the GPU and if we run it at a low enough resolution, it should also impact the CPU as well. We're gonna be taking a look at thermals, how much power each of these PCs pull while we're doing that. And then also taking a look and seeing how the FPS performs on my custom built i9 with the 4090 and then the Falcon Northwest talent. So we're going to go ahead and clear the min max here that's in the hardware monitor. We're starting off. Temperatures are very good. 36 C on the CPU, roughly 38 on the GPU with 48 on the hotspot. And you can already hear all of the fans in this APN XC1 case ramping up. We have so many fans in here that it, it, it will get noisy, but I'm also curious to hear the audio difference between this and then the talent. So we're at the ray tracing overdrive setup. So that means that we're gonna get full path tracing as hard as you can hit in RTX 4090. We're gonna drop the resolution instead of being at 4K, let's drop it to 1080p just to potentially get a little bit more CPU impact. And we'll go ahead and run the benchmark. With path tracing on, this is basically as good as lighting can look in a game. It's incredible to see. We averaged 128.59 FPS. And then if we go and take a look at hardware monitor, the package on the CPU got up to 78 degrees. The P cores hit 81 degrees. We pulled a maximum of 260 Watts. Then down here on the GPU side of things, we reached a maximum of 58 on the GPU, 65.1 on the hotspot. That is not bad. We pulled a max of 393 Watts on on the GPU. So this system is pulling a lot of power and staying relatively cool, which is what you wanna see in longer gaming sessions. But we're gonna swap this out for the Talon and see what a pre-built can do in a very similar situation. Now, the only downside to having the Talon here is that we obviously don't get that beautiful Reese look. But I am gonna see if I can turn this so that it's actually, it has Reese facing us. But before we do that, I do wanna highlight just the lighting that's on the inside of the talent here. The RGB right now, as it's booting up, is looking a little disparate and not necessarily cohesive. But once we get into Windows, you'll notice that they have customized it so that it's actually hot news colors, which is a nice little touch of putting the Falcon Northwest PC together. It's clear that they have put effort into this at every single step. And then you also have the custom BIOS splash page right there. And of course, Windows 11 wants to try to force me into some situation. There we go, the hot news colors, absolutely synced up on the inside of this talent. Just, it's the small details that you really appreciate. And it's one of the things that 
Not every system integrator is gonna go through the painstaking effort to do it. And additionally, I also know that we are not necessarily getting special treatment simply because they sent this to influencers or media or YouTubers. Based on every single review I've read of Falcon Northwest and how they have behaved over the years, if you are a customer of them, you get similar treatment. But let's go ahead and pull up Cyberpunk on the Falcon Northwest Talon. You got Reese staring at you while we benchmark this thing. So immediately as we're booting into Cyberpunk, I can already tell that there is a substantial audio reduction just from my ears with the PC being right here. It sounds further away like it's not all blaring right next to my ear like it does on the more perforated APNX C1. So we've got the same settings all set up for the Falcon Northwest Talon, going ahead and resetting the min-max on the hardware monitor just to see if we can get very similar numbers. And now it's time to go ahead and run the benchmark on the Talon. So comparing the FPS, we are definitely lower here on the Talon. We came in at 119.92, whereas we're at 128.59 on the APNX C1. Now, a lot of that may be due to the fact that we do have a custom 4090 that's in the C1. But let's also go take a look at the temperatures. So the temperatures are also higher here, coming in at 97 on the package, 97 on the P core, whereas previously on the C1, we were at 78 degrees and 81 degrees respectively. But we did pull more wattage here. The package power was 270 watts compared to the 260 watts on the C1. Now, looking at the GPU, this is where the difference definitely comes into play. That custom GPU, that gigabyte Aorus card that we have in the C1, ran at nearly 100 watts higher, coming in at 394 on the C1, whereas this one you can see comes in at 294. But temperatures are very good. They're very close to what we got on the custom card, partially thanks to the fact that Falcon Northwest add that little GPU intake situation at the back. We got 58 degrees on the core and then 66.8 degrees on the hotspot where it was 65.1 on the APNX C1. So it's very clear based on this comparison that there is a performance advantage that you can get by going with a uh, higher clocked GPU that can pull more wattage than simply the Founders Edition. Additionally, maybe a 280 millimeter cooler isn't quite enough to keep the 14900K tamed, which is a known quantity when it comes to Intel's new CPUs. If it was something like a 7800X3D, we would have found that the 280 mil would have been a little bit better, but the higher temperatures at only 10 watts more of power pull is likely due to the fact that it doesn't have as many perforations on the C1. Additionally, the cooler is slightly smaller in size, but you also have to take into account that you are getting significantly quieter setup here. Again, the intakes for the fans are only these perforated sides on this metal front panel. So it's actually incredibly impressive that Falcon Northwest has managed to create a system that even allows you to get that close close while also being more closed off. But I think all of the little extras that Falcon Northwest gives you, if you are in the market to get the king of a pre-built gaming PC, the Talon definitely puts itself up there. Now the price is still significantly more than building it your own, but you are getting all of the extra little goodies that Falcon Northwest puts into it. You do not have to build it yourself. You do not have to worry about all of the cable management. You have the three-year warranty on parts and labor. You have the amazing customer service to make sure that you're never out in the cold with a PC that you need to keep running for either your business or for your professional content creation that you're doing. The price of this Talon as spec is roughly in the $6,300 to $6,500 region, depending on whether or not you wanna get the UV printing on the side. Compared to the APNX C1, adding up all of the fans and everything there, we're looking at closer to $4,000, which you have to determine, it's the ever-present question when it comes to pre-built gaming PCs. Are you willing to sacrifice your financials for more peace of mind for somebody else to make sure and ensure that this PC is going to run the way you want it. And if it doesn't, then you can have overnight service within the first year to make sure that everything gets put back up to speed. I think the little extras that Falcon Northwest goes to the effort to provide the end user helps to offset some of the costs and it makes it clear why they have been in business for 30 plus years. Having that extra margin allows them to create an experience for the customer where they are not left out to dry in case their new PC happens to have technical issues, which is always possible. Things break, 
things go wrong, but Falcon Northwest has put in the effort to make sure that you're going to be taken care of for as long as possible. Being in this industry for 30 plus years, it can't be understated. I've not even been in tech YouTube for 10 years at this point, and just having that sort of longevity in any sort of career field is impressive to say the least, just like the Falcon Northwest Talon is. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with this system. My only real complaint is that the 14900K just it's too much it's too much of a cpu for adequate cooling in a lot of different scenarios it likely will run fine for you but again intel just making cpus that suck 300 watts and require an insane amount of cooling to go for and then also the only other caveat is the price which happens to be with pre-builds but at least with falcon northwest you know you're getting a lot of enhanced experiences for that extra price so let me know what you think of the talent down below in the comments and we'll keep you updated on a, a few of the things we got in the works this came in recently <laughs> we got some things that we're moving and shaking here at uft tech i'm excited for it see you in the next video friends